Hi everyone and welcome to another MSF workout. In today's workout we'll have four different stations. Each of them contains two to three different exercises. We'll repeat each station once. For this workout you need a kettlebell, a resistance band and a mat. Let's get stuck in. So the first exercise we have here is a resistance band shoulder warm up. What we're gonna do here is just grab the resistance band to a tension that suits you and moving our hands forward and back over our head. From there, we're gonna to start to rotate and go one side, rotating nice and slow here. And then once you've done a few rotations, we'll switch sides and go the other direction. The next exercise we have is a deep squat with our thoracic rotation. What we're gonna do here is place one hand on the ground, reaching the other up and then switching sides. And the last exercise we have for this station is a runner's stretch. What we're gonna do here is just rotate forwards and back, really emphasizing the stretch on the hamstring there, on the way back and on the way forward, you'll feel a little bit more in your adductors, in your groin area. Um, after 30 seconds, we're gonna switch sides here. And switching sides. Going back to the resistance band shoulder warmer. From here, making sure it's at a tension that suits your shoulders, not pushing yourself too far, but making sure we're getting a good stretch in for our shoulders. The next exercise we have is a deep squat with our thoracic rotation. What we're gonna do here is place one hand on the ground, reaching the other up and then switching sides.
And the last exercise we have for this station is a runner's stretch. What we're gonna do here is just rotate forwards and back, really emphasizing the stretch on the hamstring there, on the way back and on the way forward, you'll feel a little bit more in your adductors, in your groin area. Um, after 30 seconds, we're gonna switch sides here. And switching sides. To start the second circuit, we have a kettlebell back lunge to a rigid deadlift. What we're gonna do here is lunge back, holding the kettlebell in front of us, then coming up on that back foot and hinging over with the hips until the kettlebell touches the ground. And switching sides. Secondly, we have lateral lunges. What we're gonna do here is just drop as low as we can on each side, making sure we keep the side that we're leaning towards. We're keeping that ankle nice and flat on the ground. The other ankle can come up if that's more comfortable for you. And moving on, we've got inchworms next. Just making sure you've got enough room here. We're just gonna start by slowly walking our hands out. Once we're in the high plank position, there's the option there to push up and then walking your feet back to where your hands are. have a kettlebell back lunge to a rigid deadlift. What we're gonna do here is lunge back, holding the kettlebell in front of us, then coming up on that back foot and hinging over with the hips until the kettlebell touches the ground. and switching sides.
Secondly, we have lateral lunges. What we're gonna do here is just drop as low as we can on each side, making sure we keep the side that we're leaning towards. We're keeping that ankle nice and flat on the ground. The other ankle can come up if that's more comfortable for you. And moving on, we've got inchworms next. Just making sure you've got enough room here. We're just gonna start by slowly walking our hands out. Once we're in the high plank position, there's the option there to push up and then walking your feet back to where your hands are. Next, we've got a single leg hip thrust or glute bridge. What we're gonna do here is just while keeping one leg up in the air, keeping the other down, pressing through the heel all the way till we get to that full extension of the hip, really squeezing the glutes here and then coming back down. The next one we have here is a child's pose to push up. From here, we're just gonna do the push up on our knees. So once you're down from a child's pose, really press your chest in towards the ground. Then you're gonna rock forward and go down to a low push up. So getting that chest nice and low to the ground, keeping your knees on the ground as well. We have a hamstring stretch here with a rotating foot. So what we're gonna do here is just keeping the heel on the ground, rotating it both to the left and the right. And switching sides.
Next, we've got a single leg hip thrust or glute bridge. What we're gonna do here is just while keeping one leg up in the air, keeping the other down, pressing through the heel all the way till we get to that full extension of the hip, really squeezing the glutes here and then coming back down. The next one we have here is a child's pose to push up. From here, we're just gonna do the push up on our knees. So once you're down from a child's pose, really press your chest in towards the ground. Then you're gonna rock forward and go down to a low push up. So getting that chest nice and low to the ground, keeping your knees on the ground as well. have a hamstring stretch here with a rotating foot so what we're going to do here is just keeping the heel on the ground rotating it both to the left and the right and switching sides We have a child's pose to each side. So what we're gonna do is come to the middle first, walk our hands over to the right side. And then after we've spent a few seconds there, we're then walking our hands over to the left side. Just making sure you're really leaning into this one and you should feel a really good stretch within the side of your body. And the last exercise we have here is a straddle position hamstring stretch. What we're gonna do here is just lean across to each side. As you can see, I'm grabbing the outside of the opposite foot, really leaning across, trying to bring my chest as close as I can towards my knee.
We have a child's pose to each side. So what we're gonna do is come to the middle first, walk our hands over to the right side. And then after we've spent a few seconds there, we're then walking our hands over to the left side. Just making sure you're really leaning into this one and you should feel a really good stretch within the side of your body. And the last exercise we have here is a straddle position hamstring stretch. What we're gonna do here is just lean across to each side. As you can see, I'm grabbing the outside of the opposite foot, really leaning across, trying to bring my chest as close as I can towards my knee. workout complete guys thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time